Times, I don't want opinions in my lead. And are, are the people that write those stories, I don't want to see them on Twitter. Doing the end zone dance. Doing an end, yeah, exactly. Some, uh, somewhere along the line in this presidential race, a decision was made by many members of the media that Trump had to be stopped. That this couldn't happen, that this year was different, that it was incumbent on people to stop, uh, you know, a bigot, all those things that he's been called and maybe is, that this time was different. And so when you go on and you see reporters, yeah. reporters, top reporters, tweeting out things like, oh my gosh, you're the guy who's going to write the lead news story above the fold on a major the first newspaper half tomorrow. Of this you shouldn't have that out there on the And record. they're not speaking truth to power. That, that's, it's, no. that's a cover up. It's not, they're not speaking truth to power. They're not saying anything that we don't already know. Trump says everything everything that people need to hear and they are making their judgments on him. They're not helping it by by doing it's like not just an end zone dance, they're doing like their little shimmy and they and they all like slap each other on the back. Ha you're even wittier well, than I Mike, was. I, I can't imagine how what benefits. would happen in the Boston Globe newsroom in nineteen you know eighty five if if some reporter, you know, was that was supposed to write a straight down the middle news story was doing these sort of end zone dances. And again, we are, please, we're all offended by what Donald Trump said. We're, we're, we're honest about it. But we just don't want reporters going around we doing these, as be. Jim says, end zone dances when they have to be the ones that we look to to be down the middle on stories. Look, I am actually kind of surprised that in an age where maybe 99% of the people in this country think the media tilts left and thinks the media is biased, that more editors and publishers actually don't Tell reporters, stay off Twitter. Go on Twitter. Because all you do with Twitter is get yourself in trouble and raise these questions. And just, just so people aren't confused as they listen to this, you ought to be tough as hell on both of these candidates. You ought to be right. tough as hell. That story in the New York Times should have been in the New York Times. But be fair about it. You know, I think objectivity is a totally false premise. And pe people right. are humans. They have come with their biases. But your job is to just cover the race fairly. I don't want to hear what you think about it on Twitter. If you're a reporter, opinion business, go for it. It feels like the first half of this was a lot of the liberal media, the mainstream media, however you want to characterize them, saying it's not going to happen. Paul, never. Please. Ha, ha, ha. Remember Trump, He'll Trump's never five, five percent is his limit. Then he won. Ten percent is his limit. Fifteen percent. Mad. His limit. Twenty percent is limit. Thirty percent is limit. Overriding leads, saying, saying as fact what you can certainly deduce, time and time again.